Hi loves. <laughs> I look hot fire, or do I look like a hot steaming shit? I haven't decided yet. <laughs> I've had a bit of a rough week, and I wanted to film a video today, a little makeup therapy session, but I thought it'd be fun if I did a video using all products that TikTok made me buy. Obviously, recently started posting on TikTok, and today, the day I'm filming this, is actually my one month TikTok anniversary, which is very exciting. I hit 45,000 followers yesterday in 30 days, and I'm so chuffed with that. My goal was 30,000 in 30 days. I'm really thrilled with that. I'm really proud of how hard I've worked this month on it. So I thought I'd show you all of the products that I bought. Now, disclaimer, because you know I love a disclaimer. All of these products have been purchased before my Project 10 Pan started. I posted my first TikTok 30 days ago today, but I created my account about two weeks beforehand to research, see how it worked basically, because I didn't know anything about TikTok. <laughs> Find the lay of the land and also to use TikTok shop as a consumer, see how it worked and also to pick up quite a few products that are, you know, big on TikTok and trending on TikTok just to give myself a favor, get my foot in the door things that people want to hear about on the platform, if you know what I mean. I have loads and loads and loads of products. Some of them are absolutely incredible. I'm going to talk about them all a little bit, but I'm not going to go into crazy detail because honestly, a lot of them are going to be in my monthly favorites video. I'm so, so impressed with so many of these products. And the eye look that I'm going to do um, is the look that I wore in my de-influencing video that loads of you guys were asking me about. I thought it was a pretty nice look as well. Kind of recreate that and show you how I did it. And yeah. Long rambly intro. Obviously my hair looks ridiculous. This is a product that TikTok made me buy. It's one of those sleeping hair roller things. I put it on about half an hour ago. Uh, honestly, it's like my first time using it, so it may not work, but I've just put it in so we can take it out together at the end of the video and see if it does anything at all. Let's put some makeup on. I hope you're excited. I'm excited to make myself look better than I do right now. Who's messaging me? Let's do it. Come on. Let's start by moisturizing. This product I didn't buy because of TikTok. I've actually already been through an entire tube of this. I bought this before I went to Barbados last year. So I've been a user of the Wellada Skin Food, but I ran out of my old tube. So I did pick up a new one and this is currently viral on TikTok. I thought skincare wise, this would be a fitting product to use, but this is actually kind of an old favorite for me. If you've not heard of the Wellada, Wellada, I actually don't really know how you're supposed to say it, then where have you been? This is a dry skinned girlies dream. It is so thick. Like it's such a thick moisturizer. I don't like putting it on with my rings on. I don't know why I put my rings on first. Hang on, I need to move my mirror. I'm looking, oh, oh God, this is already feeling like it's gonna be a bit of a chaotic video. I'm a bit all over the place. If I put my mirror here, can you see it? No, oh, stunning, amazing. Okay, I don't know if you've noticed, I've changed the angle of my camera. You're slightly higher up, but it just means that I can put my mirror directly in front of me. You probably don't care and haven't noticed, but it's the kind of thing that I notice. It's the most hydrating moisturizer ever. It makes your skin so, so crazy, crazy dewy and glowy. Like it is really lovely stuff. And I loved using this when my skin was going through that crazy dry patch. Honestly amazing. This has obviously got to be in this, the Laneige Sleeping Mask. I got the shade Berry. Honestly, it's nice, but it is kind of just a lip balm. It's a hydrating lip balm, but like 18 pounds, 21 pounds, can't remember for a lip balm. It's a bit much, I think, but it is nice. I do like it. And now I have it, I'm gonna use it. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, next, we're gonna use the Pink Honey Honey Glue Brow Wax Gel. I don't know. This is really, really good. So it's got like a hole in the middle that you put your spoolie in to work the product in. So you do have to wet your spoolie and then you just, swirly swirl. I was raving, absolutely raving about a brow product and have been raving about a brow product. It smells so nice, I must say. This isn't actually it. This is good. I do like it, but it's not the one that I'm obsessed with. That you'll see in my monthly favorites because a lot of these products are going to be my favorites. So I don't want to have loads of double ups, you know, this stuff, you just work it into your brows. Isn't that nice? <laughs> so pretty. I think I put a little bit too much liquid actually. You just wanna make sure that the hairs are completely coated. And to be fair, this is good. Like once it's set, it is set. It's just not as quick as the one that I really, really love. Bleach brows, anyone? The main thing that I really like about this is that it is more convenient than soap because it's in that little pot and also because it smells really good. <laughs> and it does, you know, slick your brows down. It just, it 
takes a little bit of time. It's basically the same as a soap. They're slick. It's just a bit long and a bit messy for me, honestly. One of my favorite products to come off of TikTok is the Vitamin Babe Brightening Primer from the Beauty Crop. This has vitamin C. It smells so nice. It adds a really lovely glow and it's also really sticky, which you want from a primer because it makes your foundation stick to it. So once it sets, it goes really sticky. It also feels really hydrating, like more hydrating than like the usual kind of sticky primers. I don't usually tend to go for them because my skin's so dry, I like a hydrating glowy primer, but this does both, which is wonderful. And I also have a brand new spot that literally appeared today. So love that for me, thank you. For my foundation, the HNB foundation has blown up on TikTok. It's Holly Boone's brand. I did a whole video reviewing this and I absolutely love it. I really, really like this foundation. I use the shade LF8N. You literally need one pump. This gives you full coverage. It's a lovely kind of radiant finish, which is great from a full coverage foundation. It lasts beautifully, takes beautiful photos. So great, I really like it a lot. I'm also gonna use some of the Halo Glow Liquid Filter from e.l.f. as well. I'm just gonna pop this on the high points. I feel like I really need some coverage. I need some coverage today, I'm feeling pretty crusty. And LF8N is a great shade match for me with fake tan. And to blend it in, the Coco by Chloe cosmetic sponges have taken over TikTok. When I saw everyone talking about it, I was like, how can a sponge be so amazing? I was very curious, which is why I had to pick one up to try one. And the feeling of this sponge, it is so squishy. I can't describe it. Like compared to my beauty blender, it is so much squishier, like so soft. But I do think it definitely absorbs more product. It does blend really beautifully, but yeah, it definitely does absorb more product than my beauty blender does. It's also really big. Like I wish it had a point because getting under the eye is quite hard with it. So I do really, really like it. And I love how it feels, but it's not my perfect sponge. I have some pointers, you know? <laughs> oh, such a beautiful finish. And it feels really lightweight. For the amount of coverage that this gives you, it's such a lightweight feeling foundation. And like I said, it's got that lovely glow. Really big fan of this. I've been wearing it a lot. I do feel like I'm a little bit too bright. I'm sorry if that made the lighting worse. I felt like I was so bright you couldn't see anything. To go with the foundation, I'm also completely in love with the concealer. It's so high coverage, it barely creases. It's so good. I have the shade SF3W and SF2N for blemishes and under my eyes. So SF3W for breakouts. You barely need any product, like at all. Very easy to go overboard with this concealer, but my skin is not happy at the moment. I'm really breaking out. And then SF2N has a little bit more of a neutral to pink undertone. And that is gorgeous under the eye. Blending that in with the sponge as well. It's just so hard to get under the eye with the sponge. It's so big. I feel like I'm poking myself in the bloody eye. They do have mini ones and I do have the mini one. But I've already lost it. <laughs> it's so small. I just lost it immediately. I'm obsessed with the Be Perfect Cronzer specifically in the shade sand it is my perfect light condor condor my perfect light contour shade it's got just the right amount of cool tone in it but that like natural shadow it's quite hard to lift my head with this damn thing on my head <laughs> i've been wearing my fringe down so i haven't been wearing that much makeup on my forehead and it's a great nose contour as well such a good color for it and it's really matte I like my nose contour to be really matte because like the only real place I get shiny is between my eyebrows and my nose. And when your nose contour gets shiny, it looks weird. <laughs> Look at that snatch little nose. And then to cream bronze, the pink honey bronzing face frosting. Mine is in the shade Toffee Truffle. Everyone is going crazy over this bronzer. I like it. It is really, really good. It's just funny, like people really, like hype culture and virality on TikTok is insane. People literally lose their minds and things like sell out immediately. It's crazy. I put this above the Kronzer because it's a warmer shade and I use this to add color rather than shape. And this I put more on my forehead just to warm me up. I think there's a delivery man who's about to knock on the door. <laughs> I literally look like I've gone to like get my nails done with my rollers in. I feel like the whole vibe is very much serving like 
you know the look I'm talking about. Like pre-prom, you know? Okay, one last cream product before we set. This is the Pretty Fly Cream Melt Blush from Doll Beauty. And this is in the shade Let's Get Wavy. It's a really nice colour. It's a very bright pink, but it's kind of peachy, corally at the same time. Really, really like this colour. And it's also a very dewy blush which I also really like. Slightly over the nose. Okay, time to set. I'm gonna use the Vitamin Babe setting powder from the Beauty Crop. This is in the shade Fair One. Honestly, I don't love it. Apparently the colored ones are better. The pink one is really good. I much prefer a lot of my other powders. You know what, before I do that, I'm gonna put on some of the P. Louise blush that I talked about recently. The Flirty Flush of Color in the shade Bon Bon Baby. And I'm gonna put it at the top of my cheekbone. I said it was really light and can you see how fair it is? It's such a pale color, but I'm gonna try just blending it up into my concealer. I'm gonna use a beauty blender. I'm just like underwhelmed by it. I don't know, blending it into let's get wavy. Now onto the vitamin babe powder. I just find the packaging a little bit annoying as well. Like I get it that it's good for travel, but it just explodes every time I open it. Of course, I'm taking a triangle powder sponge powder puff because that is the only way to do it these days. Just popping that anywhere I'm gonna get oily. Also gonna set the lid with this. And because of the eyeshadow I'm gonna use, I'm actually gonna bake. I never bake. I mean like actually bake. I don't want any fallout. I'm gonna really quickly throw on some eyebrows and I'll be right back. This wasn't a TikTok shop purchase. I don't really have any eyeshadows because of TikTok, but I haven't used this on camera yet. It's the Vive palette, the 90s palette. It's pretty gorgeous. So I'm gonna start with the shade Phase and I'm gonna start in my crease. I'm really digging the cool tones right now. So this palette came out at the perfect time. To be fair, the whole like Pamela Anderson thing is trending at the moment so i love this palette i love the formula as well and also if i'm honest i just kind of chucked those eyeshadows on because i knew i wanted to film so i don't remember exactly how i did the look but it's basically going to be the same colors it might just look a little bit different because i'm trying to remember you know phase is our transition shade pulling it out like so taking supermodel on the lid and blending that into phase just to bring a little bit more of that like bluey color because we're gonna go for silver on the lid just to kind of cool it down a little bit more of that like icy bluey silvery gray next i'm taking low rise i realize i haven't been showing you these shades so i went with phase supermodel and now it's time for low rise and this we're gonna start building into the crease kind of forming that shape Pulling it out, obviously, because that is my preferred shape for eyeshadow, as well as the under the brow. I think one of my favorite colors in this palette is 93. It's such a gorgeous, like cool toned burgundy. It's such an interesting color. And this is gonna be our deeper shade in the crease. Just keep blending and going really deep with this shade right in that inner corner, in that inner crease by the nose bridge. I think that's so cool. It just adds like a really cool shape. Adds so much drama, so much drama. So far our fallout isn't actually too bad, right in the inner crevice. It makes the eyes really grungy and dark, but the lid is still gonna be kind of light and shimmery. It just adds that like depth and drama without going for like a dark lid, it just really <sighs> Makes it really cool. <laughs> Let's go with a bit of acid wash on the lid. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, I'm gonna spritz my brush. Bit of acid wash. Pulling it up. I've done this before, but I really like following that line up to the brow. So you have like a shimmery brow and it also helps to enhance that shape, but also kind of brightens up the eye as well. And then dial up the lightest shade. I'm just gonna pop right in that inner corner here. I'm now gonna go in with a product that I didn't get because of TikTok. I already had it. It's a really old school product, but it's currently viral on TikTok. It's Space Cowboy from Urban Decay. And it is absolutely beautiful. I honestly mean that, but it is pretty messy. That's why I baked, because this goes everywhere. But they just managed to get a level of shimmer like and fine glitter that other brands just 
haven't quite hit yet. There is just something so magical about this eyeshadow. And I put it on top of everything. I'm gonna do a big fat wing. This is the Benefit, their real liner. And we're just gonna go for it. Honestly, just big wings, big wings. Finally, finishing off under the eyes, I'm just taking 93. Smoking that under the eye. Wipe away the bake. Ooh, to reveal, no fall down, woohoo! But now I am in desperate need of some moisture back on my face, my God. I like the eyes though, I think they're pretty. They're pretty cool. One of the best products to come off of TikTok for me is the Beauty Crop Vitamin Babe Hydrating Dual Phase Setting Mist. It's got like oil in it, but it makes your skin so dewy again. It melts all the powders into your face. It's really good stuff. But you do have to try and not get this in your hair because it does make it a bit greasy. Wish me luck. I got it in my hair a bit, but. What are you gonna do? I don't have a powder bronzer that I got because of TikTok, so I'm gonna use my Vive Modern Bronzer. I use medium and I mix the two shades together. With these cool toned eyes, I definitely do need a bit more color in my skin because I do look a little bit ill sometimes. <laughs> For blush, I'm gonna use Too Faced Cloud Crush in the shade Candy Clouds, which I showed you in a vlog recently. And I think it's picking up on TikTok at the moment. It's so pretty. It smells like candy floss. And I'm going for a cool toned blush, but still like a good amount of color. So it, it matches the cool tones of the eyes, but you know, gives me color back. Okay, the highlight I'm gonna use, I'm actually not an enormous fan of. It's, I picked up the wrong color. It's far too pale, but this is the P. Louise Skin Bling in the shade Star Quality. It's definitely a bit light for me, but we're gonna make it work. And I'm gonna whoo, add a bit of glow back. I'm also gonna pop this a little bit on the inner corner as well. I'm obviously gonna line my lips with Vive Rumor. It is just my favorite liner at the moment, especially now my hair's red. It's like the perfect nude for me. Now that my hair's darker, I definitely need like a slightly deeper lip line and Rumor is just my favorite. On the lip, I'm gonna use Black Honey from Clinique. I've owned this for so long and now that it's viral on TikTok, I'm very excited because it is such an underrated product. It's flattering on literally everyone. It looks really scary in the bullet, but it's such a gorgeous, like, your lips but better colour. And then on top, I'm going to take Kylie Cosmetic. This is their Lip Shine Lacquer in Your Cute Jeans. To lighten it up, give it a bit of gloss. One last spritz before I do my mascara, and I like to set with a different setting spray. I like to use the Vitamin Babe after my powders to melt them in, but then for longevity, I like to use the Porefessional from Benefit. It kind of melts everything together, but it doesn't leave that like oily residue. And then we'll do our mascara. Finally, for mascara, of course, I'm gonna have to use the L'Oreal Telescopic Lift, even though it's an absolute nightmare to take off. It does look amazing. Also, I hope that the sound is better in this video. Finally, I've transferred my camera software onto my iPad because I was using my old, old laptop as my monitor screen and it would just, five minutes into the video, it would be just like and you could hear it in the background and it would drive me insane. But it was just something I kept putting off doing. It literally took me five minutes to download the software and switch it to my iPad. But I've finally done it. So hopefully you can tell a difference <laughs> that there's not loads of horrible background noise. It only took me a year and a half. Honestly. I also just want to say quickly thank you for all of your lovely comments and your love on the weekly vlog. Um, I'm sorry if this video has not been my usual high energy. Um, if you've seen the vlog then you'll know I've had quite a hard week. So thank you all for being so lovely and kind and Honestly, I've just kind of continued to film and stuff because it keeps me, I like being busy. It stops me from wallowing too much. So, you know, I've been keeping up with my posts. In fact, I've posted more in the past couple of weeks than I have in a while. Yeah, it's it's a sad time for me and the family. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, go watch last week's vlog. But yeah, thank you for all your kind words. As always, you guys are so sweet and lovely to me. And um, I don't really know what else to say, otherwise I'll start crying. Obviously I chose to do this while I was doing my mascara. It's 
rogue rookie error, but I've been an absolute weepy, weepy mess for the past week. But, um, yeah, it, it, yeah, it is what it is, you know, it happens. It's the circle of life and it's sad, but you gotta keep, gotta keep doing stuff, don't you? You gotta keep on moving, keep moving and grooving, baby. Keep moving and grooving. And that's the look. <laughs> Let's see what this hair thing's done. Honestly, I'm a little bit nervous. I have absolutely no idea. I'm gonna do my fringe last because my mascara's still a bit wet and there's nothing worse than getting your hair in wet mascara. <laughs> Let's remove the hair. It may have not done anything. It may need longer. My hair was dry. Oh my God. <laughs> um, my hair was dry, but I'm hoping it's done something. Okay. It definitely needed longer. And I think my hair did need to be damp. There's no way in hell I'm sleeping with that thing on my head. So it will have to be something that I do if I'm going out in the evening and don't need to go out during the day. Giving it a nice kind of bounce, a nice wave. I've just done my regular roller for my fringe. Let's see how that's gone. <laughs> Yeah, you're looking great, Em. Yeah. More than curls, it's given me more like a little blow dry moment almost. It definitely needed longer. It doesn't look bad. At least it didn't make my hair look worse. It definitely looks better than it did when I put it in. I'll keep playing. I think it's gonna be a learning curve. Sort the fringe out. Bloody hell, this fringe has really got a mind of its own today. Well, thanks for watching. This is my full face of products that TikTok has made me buy, has forced me, gun into my head, made me put things in my basket and forced me to buy. Definitely had absolutely no choice in the matter whatsoever. I hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry it wasn't as high energy as usual. I'm sure I'll be back to my usual bouncy and obnoxious self in no time, but it will all just be okay, won't it? It will all just be okay. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you're new. If you haven't followed me on TikTok yet, go follow me on TikTok. I wanted to do this video today because it's kind of relevant. Oh yeah, I've already said this, but yeah, I hit 46K today. 46K in 30 days. Very, very proud of myself. Thank you for watching. Have the best day and I will see you very, very soon. Very, very, very soon, in fact. <laughs> Bye.